Well, good morning again, Daniel Valdez. Again, it's a pleasure and honor to talk to you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. And it's actually this morning. It's an actual morning this time instead of a uh, fake morning when I usually record these things. If this sounds a little bit different, uh, I apologize. I am on the road working for the good old company, HEB, in Frisco, opening the new store up here. Awesome stuff. Great time. So had by all. And I appreciate everybody's support online uh, sending me stuff, uh, you know, well wishes and good health messages and stuff like that. So really appreciate it. We got to talk about the BOA Houston regional that just happened last night. This is the cherry on. We put a cherry on top of that stuff. Even being far away, it ain't going to stop me from putting a cherry, even though cherries suck, on top of the North Houston regional championships. So we'll go over scores. We'll go over stuff that happened during the uh, during the contest, and then we'll put that to bed, and then we'll move forward. Cool, cool. So let's start off by congratulating the Woodlands High School as the 2022 North Houston uh, BOA North Houston Regional Championship champions with an 83.00 significant win. <laughs> swept all captions in finals, swept all captions in 4A during prelims. So let's go over the results and let's uh, let's talk about them real quick. In 12th place was Jordan High School 71.85, 72.00 was Dawson High School. Uh, Oak Ridge was with a 73.15. Then you had College Park, 73.55. Friendswood High School, 74.35. Klein Oak with a 75 even. Uh, Claire Brook with a 77.35. Wiley East with a 78.1. Pearland High School with a 78.65. Bridgeland in third place, 79.50. Uh, Cy Fair, first one, one of two programs here to get an 80. So 80.10 for Cy Fair. And then, of course, the Northeastern Regional Champions, the Woodlands High School, 83.00. A couple things to note. Uh, Wiley East won the uh, Class 3A championship over in uh, prelims at Northeastern Regional. Let me double check that real quick. Why don't I have it up? We're just gonna, I'm just going to stall and delay just to double check and make sure that I didn't make a mistake. I probably did. Who knows? Nope, that was Wiley East, Class 3A champion Wiley East. Uh, in prelims, Class 3A uh uh, music per, music caption, visual, visual caption, and general effect and prelims for Class 3A, they went to all different schools. <laughs> I love when that happens because you almost never know what is, uh, what's what's going to happen with uh, with placement awards and prelims. So I love when that happens. And I, I know the kids freak out with it when that happens. Uh, I'm sure the, the reaction in the stadium was pretty uh, was pretty palpable. Let's talk about a couple of programs here just to kind of go over some stuff real quick. Um, impressive stuff from Wiley East coming down from the Dallas area. Uh, coming down to the Northeastern Regional, that seems to be a thing that they want to do now, so awesome stuff. Uh, Jordan High School, I believe this is their first time making Benz America Regional Finals, so congratulations to Jordan High School. Jordan High School starting to, you're noticing a little bit of a trend here. Jordan opened up in 2020, that's in the middle of the pandemic. So there's been a little bit of a trend here in the state of Texas with programs that have opened their doors during the pandemic and are already starting to see success. We see that, we're seeing that with Jordan right now. We're seeing that with Rock Hill in the Dallas or the Prosper area. We're seeing that with uh, Lake Belton, who made uh, who's uh, made state contests, uh, UIL state contest finals uh, in their class. So we're seeing programs, you know, opening up 2020, pandemic, Zoom learning, whatever they need to do. And, you know, two years later, they're having some success in the in the Bands of America scene. So congratulations to Jordan High School. Well, well done. Uh, Cy Fair jumping up from fourth place in prelims to second place in finals. By the way, prelims, second place, third place, and fourth place were separated by less than a point. Whenever that happens, things get very interesting in finals because you know, people ask me all the time, why do we do a top six, bottom six draw? So in case, you, in case you're new to the activity or in case you didn't know, the, um, the way the final schedule is put together is that they take – uh, 12th place through 7th place in prelims and they make them perform in the first half of finals but they're but it's a random draw so you don't really know who's 12th place you don't know who's 11th place or anything like that then uh 6th place I'm sorry was it, then 6th place through 1st place uh in prelims you put them at the second half of finals but you mix them up together they do a random draw at the parking lot when they check in um you you usually see on our live blog, the Texas Live Bands Live blog, we try to post the uh, the uh, the draw board uh, just to keep everybody updated and stuff like that. But yeah, we do mix them up, but we do kind of separate twelfth through seventh place prelims, mix them up, one first place through sixth place, mix them up from prelims and put them in finals. 
Uh, the reason we do that is because uh, it is you get a better read and you're able to, you're able to judge a little bit more accurately programs that are that are of the same uh, talent level. We'll just say it like that. Um, it is much easier to you know if you have your one through six from prelims, you know that they're kind of sort of in the ballpark of 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 each other. Um, and in terms of in terms of scoring, in terms of talent, in terms of execution, in terms of excellence, all the stuff that all the components that come together to make a to make a really good marching band show. So that's why they do it to make it to to, to try to get as accurate of a read, accurate of a score as we can uh, for the finals contest. It's a little bit more difficult in prelims because you know you may have a program that's very 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 talented and has their whole show down and has everything down and all the bells and whistles are are good to go. But then the program before or after may not necessarily have uh, all those uh, have all those things in place yet. So um, it's always interesting to see how its prelim scores go from finals and stuff like that. I usually don't like talking about scores this much, but I know that there was a couple of questions that, that people had and, and people usually have during the season about uh, why we do the finals draw the way we do it instead of just a random, like we used to do just a random draw and we figure it out. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit more accurate when you're when you're comparing uh, programs that are that are with each other in the same skill set. So, I mean, excellent contest, <laughs> Conroe ISD. That that stadium there, that that Wood Forest Bank Stadium, is always a is always a great venue. Uh, the kids love performing in it and everything. So, congratulations to everybody, and of course, congratulations to the Woodlands High School again <laughs> for the Northeastern Regional Championship that they nabbed last night. Congratulations to everybody. Awesome stuff. Great stuff uh, all around. I was able to check out a couple of those performances here and there. So, great stuff. Uh, I am done here. That's that's the that's a wrap on the Northeastern Regional Championship. Uh, you see in prelims, uh, you know you've got, you know you kind of see scores put together pretty close. We talked about two second place, third place, and fourth place being so close in prelims, and then you look at second place, third place, and fourth place in finals, and there are significant gaps there. Uh, so that it may be a little bit more of an, an accurate reading or whatnot. And of course, you have to take into account performance. You have to take into account, you know. Is everything working? Did uh, you know? Did did your band have the best performance they possibly could? Uh, and even then, <laughs> if the bands, if other bands have their best possible performance, well, then it makes things a little bit more difficult. But uh, you usually, see these gaps widen up a little bit from prelims to finals, um, just because we're able to compare each other and, and and try to get a bit more accurate reading. So, congratulations to everybody in the Northeastern Regional Championship. Awesome stuff, indeed. We're going to put that to bed. The cherries on top of it. I don't like cherries. Don't ask me why. Uh, <laughs> and and that is that is everything. So congratulations to everybody there. Uh, great job to the Texas Bands Live blog. Great job to Box 5 uh, TV that streamed the events and everything like that. So uh, we're done here. We'll get out of Houston for a little bit. And then uh, who knows? Oh, but we got we got the, the uh, West Houston Regional coming up next week. I may have to go to that one. More on that later. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.